Hello there, my name is Michael Maynard and welcome back to Gorilla Picking. Now, what you are looking at here folks is another BKS lock and uh, if you remember back a couple of days I picked this uh, BKS Helios a few days ago. A really unusual lock, really interesting little beast. Um, I'll just zoom in so you can get a better look at this. Um, you'll remember this from a couple of days back so there's nothing new here. Um, unusual kind of a key big and solid and um, got this little shiny jewel, this little plastic jewel thing in the middle of it. Um, five pins, reversible key though, so it goes in either way up, a lot like um, a, uh, a, a dimple lock key does, um, except that quite obviously it's not a dimple lock, it's, it's just a conventionally pinned lock. Well, it turns out that it has a big brother, and um, the big brother is called the Linnaeus, and again, this is from Oceanaut, so um, huge thanks to Oceanaut for sending this over. Um, it's a very similar lock, so um, six pins, not five, very similar keyway, although uh, different wardings, so um, this lock for the, uh, the Linnaeus does not fit into the Helios, so slightly different keyways, but it's the same big tall keyway and uh, once I started picking this I discovered that it was very similar pinning as well or feels like it anyway um, I haven't taken it apart yet uh, I have left this really weird little um, little clip thing on here um, I don't know if that is the standard clip that came with this or whether Oceanaut has put this on himself I know nothing about this um, it's a very thin um, it looks like an aluminium clip in actual fact and um, I, I think it's actually going to come off very easily so I am not going to remove this before we pick it. I'll, um, I'll pick it and then we'll have a go at getting that on, off afterwards. So with that out of the way um, we shall get this mounted up on the vice and we shall deal to it. Back in a second lads. Okay folks well let's get this done. So uh, there is my key big solid thing that it is, little blue jewel in this one, pretty little uh, pretty little lock, pretty little key. So, top of the keyway tension, I'm using the Peterson pry bar, um, the default one I've been using for a while, and uh, this is a Peterson number 5 in 18 thousandths. So, 1 nothing, 2 nothing, 3 nothing, 4 nothing, four, okay, 5's binding. Sort of clicked and sort of didn't. It's a weird one, that one. Okay, six is binding. Little click out of six as well. Nothing on the core yet. Back to the start. One nothing. Two nothing. Three nothing. Four a click. Five nothing. Six nothing. That wasn't six uh, clicking. That was just my pick slipping off it. Back to the start. One nothing. Two a click. Three nothing. Four nothing. Five nothing. Six nothing. Coming back out. Five, four, three. A little click and the first little turn on the call that we've had. Excellent. Two nothing. One, one's binding. Click and a turn on one. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to call that a false set yet, but we've definitely had some movement on the core here. Okay, down to the back. Six. Nothing there. Five, nothing. Four, nothing. Three. Moved and then stopped. I really don't know how to interpret that. I think it's another one of these T pin arrangements. Two nothing, one nothing. Down to the back again. Six nothing, five nothing, four nothing, three. <laughs> three and we're open. Okay. Uh, right. Well, didn't expect that, but uh, an open lock is an open lock. I'll take it. All right. Um, Going to be real interesting to see what's in here. Okay, folks, well, there you have it. Um, 
another lock really that um, didn't pick anywhere near as well as really it, it should have done. Um, again, I think maybe that's because of the uh, the bitting on the key. So we had spools in um, positions one and two. We had these little weird um, sort of reverse spool things. I, I really think of them as T-pins in positions three and four and then two standard pins in five and six. Um, really very, very simple pinning. Um, the uh, bottom pins, nothing fancy here at all. Um, just a really short little pin here on three, which uh, I guess corresponds with one, two, three. Okay, so um, the, the very, very top edge of the, the key here. Um, in fact, why don't I just uh, zoom in on, on that a little, eh? Um, Interesting and unusual key, and um, I've actually learned a couple of things picking this lock. I, now that I've done this one and the Helios, I've actually learned some things about how to pick this, and I will do a tutorial video next on how to pick these locks, okay? I think there are some interesting things we can learn from this. So um, that's, the, that's the key in the bitting, and then again, that is what this little T-pin kind of arrangement looks like. Um, there has been a suggestion um, from Brian on my last video that um, these could be anti-bump pins and uh, I guess that could be true actually. I have seen anti-bump pins that look kind of like that. Whether or not it would work for for that function though I really don't know. Um, didn't seem to make the picking too much more difficult in my hands to be absolutely honest. Um, the spools, interesting in that um, this front one looks like it's steel to me. so. Um, the uh, spool in uh, in positions one and two are clearly different, and I think what they're doing here is is using uh, that number one spool there um, is steel as uh, as anti drill protection. But as I am sure you recall from the last little five pinner, um, the core itself actually has no drill protection whatsoever. So I think on balance um, we're going to call this another really fun lock to pick guys. Um, interesting little lock from a lock sport point of view and if you can get a hold of these um, then you, you probably should do. Um, but from a security point of view, yeah, I, I don't really rate it. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching gents, I really love doing this one. Um, the next video I do will be a tutorial on how to pick these based on what I've learned on these last two picks. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching guys. My name's Michael Maynard and this is uh, Gorilla Picking.